By now you guys have seen those fun hot cocoa bombs that are flooding the internet. And all it is is just hot cocoa mix surrounded by a shell of chocolate. So when you put it into your mug and then pour some hot milk or hot water over it, it melts and explodes and releases your hot cocoa. And if you had put marshmallows in it too, it releases those up too. They're super fun. Well, did you guys know that you could also make a tea bomb? And that's what we're making today. I'm Annie from ketofocus.com and I've teamed up with Chalk Zero and I'm going to show you how to make a sugar-free tea bomb for your tea. So this is a fun sugar-free outer shell and inside is some tea. So when you pop it in your mug, it will melt and explode up all these beautiful tea leaves. Let's get started. To make our sugar-free tea bomb, you wanna start by adding one cup of sweetener to your saucepan. And you can use whatever sweetener you want. I'm gonna be using a monk fruit blend sweetener, but you could use erythritol too if you wanted to. We're also gonna add one third cup of Chalk Zero syrup. Now you can feel free to use whatever flavor you want. You can use strawberry, vanilla, caramel, whatever you wanna to add to give it that fun sweetness. Chalk Zero has a wide range of flavors. They even have seasonal ones like coconut and mango and peach so if it's summertime that's usually when those flavors roll out this would be perfect for that the only flavor that I don't know if it would work is their chocolate just because that does have a different formulation so just stick with their other basic syrups and we're also gonna add in two tablespoons of water. Stir that until it's combined, and we're heating this over medium high to high heat. You wanna cook this until your candy thermometer reaches 300 degrees, which is the hard crack stage. And if you wanted to make some color tea bombs, you could just add a few drops of food coloring to this mixture, and then you'd have a beautiful like pink or green tea bomb. Once your candy thermometer reaches 300 degrees, we're gonna remove this from the stove and we're gonna work fast. I'm gonna be using a mold. This is a silicone mold for our tea bombs and you can find these on Amazon. Um, probably even some uh, department stores have these too. But what we're gonna do is just spoon a little bit, probably like a tablespoon or two of each um, into each little cavity of our mixture and then just coat the edges too and continue to slide it up the edges um, because it's gonna cool fairly fast but as you pour it in, it's just gonna run down too. So you need to just keep on dragging it up along and then going from cavity to cavity. And after a while, it will actually set and harden. And once it's hardened, we're gonna peel off our silicone mold and you'll be left with a half of a half a moon shape of your tea bomb. Now this mold holds six halves, so we'll be making three tea bombs with this. So once you have your halves, then for three of them, we're gonna add in some tea leaves. So whatever tea leaves that you wanna add in there, you can add in and you can put in a tea bag too. Now to seal this, we only work with one of them. So so it's one of the, the half moons that doesn't have any tea in it. We're gonna put this on a skillet over medium high heat and this will just melt our edges of our half moon just enough so that you can stick it onto the other half and have it seal. Now we're ready for some tea. Look at that beautiful explosion of fun tea leaves and flowers. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you tag Chalk Zero with all of your photos of your sugar-free tea bombs. 